hello internet world. So, here is me in the progress of making a GIF with my own art in it. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, ignoring the fact that we are missing step one, or frame one. We've got two. So there's my movement. That's what 10 hours of animation looks like, kids. So, uh, we are only partially done. Not even halfway done, because ultimately the goal is to have this character's hand grab the page, which is probably going to be in the next frame here, and then flip the page. In that time, I have to have the cat's tail swish up, probably back and forth, and then back again. And I don't know if you've noticed, but every other frame, things like the plant leaves um, and the hair are all moving, alternating, so it'll look kind of like cutesy, hand-drawn, sketchy animation, which is basically my best at this point. I'm having a lot of fun with this, despite my hand not enjoying it quite that much, but it's a lot longer of a process than I even thought it was, and I already thought it was a long process. So I'm starting this out in Paint Tool Sci. Um, it's my preferred drawing program. I'm ultimately going to have to save all of these frames as individual images, which I already have, you can see right here, and I'm going to have to import them into Photoshop so that I can actually make the gifting happen. Um, so this is what I've got so far. It's not a lot to show considering I put so much time into it. Ah! It's alright though. Um, it's going to be good. I honestly contemplated leaving the character's hand here having the cat's tail squish up and back, still alter alternating the plants and just calling it a day, but I've decided to hate myself, and we're going to go through the, with the page flipping. So there's sort of what that looks like. The process of me actually making the art, let's close these guys out real quick. Let me open up. So here's how I've finally found a good way to start doing this. I open up the one I'm currently working on, and I open up the one right before that, and I have to open up the sci file, which is basically like the Photoshop file. It's the file that has all of the layers in it. While we're looking at layers, here's all my layers just for the color. They're all sort of organized into folders, except for the filters on top, which now I can't really put them in a folder because they start to react strangely to each other. Let's start doing this sort of thing. I don't know. It's sort of weird. So there's that. Everything's organized into neat little folders, and they're all labeled, which I normally wouldn't do for my own work. But for animation, I feel like it's really important to know where everything is, since you have to move stuff. So I'll open up the previous one, and I'll open up my most recent one. I'll be able to see how much is moving between those two. And then since I alternate plants, every other one, this is the same as seven will be, and this is the same as four was. So since I have to alternate the plants, I start editing on the file previous, and keep this one open just so I have a frame of reference, and so if I need to copy anything from it, I can. If that sounds confusing, let's kind of dive into it and I can show you. So, I'm actually going to just start editing this layer as it is. First thing I'm going to work on is the cat's tail is a little easier. So I know right here, he's in the middle of this panel. It's about here. So I might have him go up to here now. So we're just going to zoom in, scroll on over to my kitty. This is the color I've been using for my line work. Got to carefully erase. Oh, not that. Since all of the line work is on one panel, um, I have to be careful not to erase anything that was there. I have the files where it's all separated and I've labeled it accordingly just like it is here with the colors but 
I found this is actually a quicker way to work. Even though I have to work around all the other lines, it's still quicker than editing the files because adding back in all of the color on top, sorting it out and renaming it takes about 30 minutes per panel. So I did that for the first two and then learned my lesson. So we're saying it's gonna be about, was here. Let's put it about here now. Oh, it might help if I'm in the right layer. to my cat. I'm just gonna lighten this color up a little bit, switch to watercolor, make it smaller. Kind of blend that in a little bit. And now you'll notice that there's still lines underneath. So I gotta go back through. Erase those and I feel like that's a little bit of a jump, but so now I might have to go back in and edit six. So it's just a lot of playing around and seeing what looks good, and honestly I won't really be able to tell until I put it into Photoshop and realize the whole thing is garbage anyway. So that's my process. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in.